Well, hello there, Beaver Creek Church family and friends. Pastor Gordon here, uh, coming uh, from here live on location at the Beaver Creek Seventh Day Adventist Church. And uh, it is Friday, and uh, it's the preparation day, and we are thankful for God's grace so far for the month of June. I tell you, this month has gone by so quickly, and you're wondering, where has the time gone? Uh, as a matter of fact, Today being June 21, I understand from the meteorologist that today is actually the first official day of summer. So summer is actually just beginning, even though we've been having a heat wave. Well, I'm standing out here, uh, and as you can see on cam two, you're seeing a, a picture of the church or a view of the church from the west side, coming from the, the west. So the church uh, is facing Grange Hall Road, and I'm standing right here uh, on the we could say on the south side of the church. And next week, next week is going to start a big week for us here at the Beaver Creek Seventh day Adventist Church, where we'll be having our family life summit. Now, you have seen uh, this uh, advertised, you have seen uh, cards. And uh, tomorrow, one of the things that we're going to be doing as part of our outreach in the afternoon, we want to gather back. We're going to be going out into our community and sharing a number of invitations, this being one of them. And uh, then this little card here uh, with Charles Hugerbrooks. It's a concert uh, with the former lead singer of the It Is Written telecast who will be with us next weekend as part of this initiative. So let's talk about this again. So we're talking about the Family Life Summit, strengthening bonds and building faith from June 26 to June 29, beginning on Wednesday evening. At uh, 6.30 is when the seminar is going to begin. The session is going to begin. But if you come at about 6 o'clock, we're going to have refreshments for you here in the Fellowship Hall. And we get right into the program uh, at 6.30 with our special guests, uh, Dr. Anthony and Dolores Gordon, uh, who are my parents. It's going to be good to have them here again. And they're going, to be do they're going to be doing Wednesday and Thursday. And those sessions, those sessions are titled The Family Under Attack and making the family a citadel of peace. Wonder what's that about? We're going to be uh, delving into those on Wednesday and Thursday. And then on Friday, when Pastor Royce Snayman and his wife, Lori, when they arrive, they're going to be taking us into the identity crisis and the family. That could go so many different directions. And then on Sabbath morning at 930, we have our 13th Sabbath school program. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be wonderful. And uh, we're going to be having uh, at 1045, Rebuilding the Family Altar. Uh, the Snamans are going to be sharing part of their testimony uh, under this uh, topic. And then uh, we leave and return for a 430 breakout session. Now, the, this breakout session will be done by both sets of presenters. One session, option one, will be uh, Before I Do and for Newlyweds. And option two will be Parenting from the early stages all the way to the golden years. So uh, the Snamans will be handling parenting and the Gordons will be dealing with uh, Before I Do and the Newlyweds. That's a breakout session. And then we'll come back uh, for uh, 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 refreshments at about 5.30, 5.45 thereabout before we come on out on the outside. Now I'm going a little bit closer here. If our, our camera would pan towards the road, uh, you could see uh, the expanse here at uh, the church. It's out here that our major uh, 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 expansion and groundbreaking is going to be taking place. So we're going to be having the groundbreaking right here in front of the church at 615. Uh, mayor Adams of Beaver Creek, who actually is our new mayor, uh, he's going to be with us, as well as Commissioner-elect Sarah Mays. Uh, she'll also be with us for this special groundbreaking. And... Uh, our special uh, musical guest, Charles Hagerbrooks, will be with us from Friday evening through Sabbath and Saturday evening. Because after the groundbreaking, we will be uh, having a special campaign concert, a benefit concert. So you want to invite your friends, your neighbors. You want to hear this voice, Charles Hagerbrooks. Now, uh, we're going to make our way down to the uh, east side of the building. Now, think of the east side, you think of the sanctuary, uh, where back in the day, uh, in, in, in Moses' day, the sanctuary would be uh, constructed with the, uh, with the door facing towards the east, so that when the sun was rising, uh, the folk, they would 
their backs would be towards the sun as they would face the, the tabernacle uh, for their, their, their morning prayer, their morning worship. As you're seeing in the other camera, you're seeing the other uh, uh, property uh, there on the north side of the church. Uh, that property is actually for sale. So you want to pray about that, uh, see what God has in store for that, uh, whether we have neighbors or God has some other ideas for us. So keep that in prayer. Uh, but as you can see, I'm walking by here on the west side of the church, heading around to the back. Now, why am I going to the back? Uh, well, you know that July 8 through 13 is our vacation Bible school under the theme, Dare to Be, Dare to Be. But in the back, right here, where our uh, fire pit is, if uh, Cam 2 would go right up to our fire pit, we are going to be pitching a tent right out here, right out here. So now you're seeing the, the back of the church is getting a little uh, right here for me. Uh, here we go. That's much better. Uh, we're going to be pitching a tent right in this area. All right. And uh, we are going to be hosting a, a one-week uh, outreach seminar called Dare to Believe. So for the VBS, the children's program, they're going to be doing Dare to Be. Uh, under the theme of Daniel. And this is that card that you have seen many times. You have seen many times, okay? This, this one right here. Whoop, all right, here to be. Uh, we have already begun to get uh, uh, registration for that. We have a few people who have signed up and we I've, I've noticed that uh, our canvassers who have been sharing this, we have probably gotten about one or two names from the community as well. So please, you wanna make sure you get a chance to share that. And then this card here, Dare to Believe. This one, uh, some of you probably have not yet seen it, uh, the physical card. These just arrived yesterday and we're gonna be going out into our community with these as well. So this spot is a special spot. We want to, by the grace of God, to dedicate this area in prayer as we have this one week uh, outreach seminar, Dare to Believe. And we're gonna need uh, many hands on deck. You know, this is, uh, not my work. This is not uh, the work of the elders. This is the work of God, whom he has called all of us as Bible-believing Seventh-day Adventists to be a part of his work. And we're doing this uh, one, t one time uh, for the summer, just for one week, I should say. And then in the fall, you're going to hear about another uh, seminar that we'll do. And this is going to be off-site, off-campus as we go. So why don't we uh, have a word of prayer at this time as we pray for this very spot, the spot where we're going to be hosting the Dare to Believe. Uh, oh, the, 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 the air conditioning just went off, got much quieter. We're going to be having the Dare to Believe Bible Seminar and our Dare to Be Vacation Bible School. The kids will be roaming right around campus by the grace of God. We want to have this place secured and dedicated to him as it already is, but we're rededicating it for this special, special purpose. Pray with me if you would. Heavenly Father. Lord, even as we see a glimpse of that fire pit, my mind thinks of the fire of the Holy Spirit. And it is my prayer, Lord, that the Holy Spirit will ignite us with energy, will ignite us with focus to be a part of this special initiative over the next couple of weeks. Lord, the family is under attack. It was the first of the two main institutions that you gave us in the Garden of Eden. And come next week, June 26 through 29, Lord, we will be focusing on this Family Life Summit. We pray, Lord, that you be with uh, brother and sister Gordon, be with brother and sister Snayman, and you be with brother Hagerbrooks, who is going to be our special musical guest father. Be with him and his dear wife as she also travels with him. And then, Father, as we take a a break to continue to pray for what would take place uh, two weeks hence from that point. Lord, our vacation Bible school and our special seminar tent. Father, we ask that you bring people to study your word. Dare to believe. Dare to believe the truth for this time. And Father, we thank you for this opportunity. We thank you, Lord, for how you have moved. We thank you for how you have blessed. We ask, Lord, that you'll be with our groundbreaking that you'll be with these services, be with these programs. But Father, we know that it's the people that you want to anoint who you'll use for your service. So bless us, Father, we pray, and 
bless everyone that's watching this right now. Bless everyone that gets a card and bless everyone that will share a card, not just one, not two, but many throughout our community, that men and women, boys and girls will be, will be invited to attend and to participate, to find the truth for this time, we pray in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. It's been good sharing this with you. It, it, don't we have a beautiful, beautiful uh, piece of property here? I just want to uh, give a shout out to those who were before us uh, the decades prior to when this church was pl uh, planted and dedicated in 1976. That's almost 50 years. Uh, how God used them to select this prime property. May it continue to go towards the glory and the spreading of God's word. Have a good day. Bye-bye.